Hi everyone, it's Chloe. I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me because you guys requested it. So I'm going to do that. But before I do that and get ready, I'm going to do uh, introductions of my puppies. Um, so Violet, you guys have seen them in all of the backgrounds of my videos, but I guess you guys should get to know them a little bit better since you'll probably see them more in more of my videos. <laughs> So this is Violet, um, she is my little baby, she is 8 years old, she's a Maltipoo, so that's part Maltese, part Poodle, and I've had her since I was 14 years old, so about 8 years now, and she is the little instigator, she loves to start fights with the big one over here, and her nickname is Violent, um, but yeah, she's my little snuggle bug, I've had her forever and she's been with me through quite a bit. So this is Violet. Oh look at you! It's so cute! Um, this is Parker. He is a golden doodle. So he's half golden retriever, half poodle. His dad was a golden retriever and his mom was a black poodle. So that is why he looks so damn cute. Um, he is two years old. He was a byproduct of my past relationship. I'm now a single dog mother, but that is okay. Um, so this is Parker. He is just a goofball, and you see in some of my videos he just comes up to my face or, like, comes up to the camera. Um, but yeah, so this video I'm going to do a chit chat get ready with me because we're going to go to the dog park! So, you guys wanted to see me get ready from nothing. So all I have on my face is a moisturizer with an SPF, which I always wear SPF, and no, no makeup, no, nothing. So I'm looking kind of ratchet, and I don't want to hear any of you people tell me I do, because I know. And my hair is pulled back with this little um, headband thing. So yeah, let's get ready. So I'm going to do my foundation first, my base. Um, I've been using the new, I don't well, it's not very new, but the new L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. And... I just started using this yesterday and I don't know how I feel about it. Um, this shade is a little light for me so I've been mixing in another foundation and that might be why it's kind of um, iffy but we'll see. I'm going to try it without my mix in foundation today so I'm going to look a little light but I'll correct that with some bronzer. So I just used a beauty blender um, and I have my little foundation mixy plate which is actually an old Bath and Body Works candle top. Um, so yeah, I'll just get that on my um, face. So yeah, we're heading to the dog park today. And part of the reason why I go to the dog park is one, my dog Parker that you saw earlier in the video is hyper as hell. And he is uh, he's still young, so he needs to be ran. Like, he needs to have a lot of time to just run and be psycho and just do his thing. Um, also, I am constantly looking for a husband um, in any manner I can. And the dog park that I go to has many, many cute men. So yeah, I have to look somewhat decent to go to the dog park. So that's why I'm putting on kind of a, medi it's a medium coverage, it can be full coverage, but medium coverage foundation. And I'm going to be looking over here because my mirror is right here. So yeah, um, I've been wearing concealer a lot lately too because I haven't been sleeping really. Uh, because it's getting to be finals week, and I'm going psycho. So, I'm drinking a lot of coffee, and then that's affecting me. Being able to sleep. And then I'm also up late too, so. I now just finished putting my foundation on, uh, and I'm going to move on to concealer. I forgot, ooh, I just dropped it. Um, I forgot to tell you that I am in the color 102 Shell Beige, and this is, actually looks a, not too light. It's a little pink, and I'm more yellow, but it's kind of correcting, so it's 
more of a neutralizing thing, I guess. And this foundation says that it's 24 hours. Um, which I don't believe. But I, I didn't prime. Maybe if I primed it would be 24 hours. Oh, I forgot to put on my chapstick, too. Okay, I'm going to put some concealer on now because, I, like I said, I always look tired. Uh, and this is the Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair, I think. And this is a little light, too, but... What er? What er, sir? And I'm just going to do a little triangle. Or like an angel. Because I am no angel. So now, you look like this. And we're just going to keep it there. Just kidding. Um, I'm actually going to blend with my finger because I find that my beauty blender takes a little too much product out. And I like the way my finger warms up the product. So don't mind me. My eyes look really wonky when I look up. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. I look like a frog because they go two different directions. Look how much more awake I look. Either awake or like I fell in a vat of flower, eyes first. Um, I'm just going to do a little more highlighting. Right at her lip. And make sure if you're blending with your fingers that your fingers are clean. Because that's gross. Lord. It's a little scary, isn't it? Oh. I have plants growing on my head. Plant starts with P? Yes. <sighs> this is my Coachella look. So I'm done with my concealer and I'm using the L'Oreal Hydro Perfect Loose Powder in what color is this? Translucent. Um, and I'm just going to go in with a powder brush and go over the areas where I put that concealer and where I get oily so on my nose. Um, I'm not a makeup artist, by the way. I am a makeup enthusiast. I'm not a makeup artist. I do drag makeup very well, though. Um, so if you guys want a drag makeup tutorial, let me know. And I can do that for you. Okay, so I'm done with powder. And now I'm going to... What am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to do bronzer. Um, I would do contour normally, but I'm just not feeling contour today. Um, just because I'm going to be outside and I want it to look more natural. I'm going to go into my Naked on the Run palette, um, the bronzer. Oh, oh, hi me. Two me's. And I'm going to go into this bronzer right here. And then I always kind of like twirl it up just to... Blend up. I was talking about the dog park before. And you would be surprised at how many beautiful men are at the dog park. And I think it's funny, like, how, what kind of guys bring what kind of dogs. I always like to try to guess the guy what dog he brought. A lot of guys, like, have, like, German Shepherds or, like, you know, Labs or Great Danes or some kind of manly dog. But there's this one super hot guy, and he kind of had a girly dog. Um, but that's fine by me, because he can play with my girly dog. Just kidding. That's gross. That is the grossest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> also, I think it's kind of funny that... I'm sorry, I look like an uh, idiot. I think it's kind of funny that um, 
me and my dogs look like a family because we all have really super curly hair and when it's windy we all look the same proud mama proud mama of my curly band so next I'm gonna do um, highlighter and I'm gonna take my fan brush and uh, my Becca Cosmetics highlighter in what is this Moonstone I need I want to get opal too but Moonstone's kind of a gold shimmer and I always do my highlighter before my blush because I find that if I put my highlighter on top of my blush it looks a little more um, like patchy and like doesn't got a new match on tinder anyways um, if I put my highlighter on top of my blush it just looks kind of patchy and not as glowy and natural I mean not saying that everyone has this much glow to their cheeks naturally unless you hopped in a fountain of dew and I always place a lot like right here and then I just blend out from there. Uh. Okay. So now I'm all done highlighting. Oh, if you guys want to see what it looks like. That is the Becca Skin Perfecting Highlighter in Moonstone. As you can see, I am making a real big dent in it. But I love it so much. Um... This is like one of my holy grail products. Um, if you guys want me to start doing like a monthly favorites or like Desert Island, if you only had three products, what would you bring with you? I can do that for you. Um, I don't have my favorite foundation right now because I ran out and I don't have enough money to get it. Because it's Chanel and it is like oh, 50 bucks. So I'm done with highlighting, I'm done with bronzing, and now I'm going to do um, blush. And one of my favorite blushes lately um, was actually given to me by my friend Danny, who I do Tranny Tot Hot Dish with, and it is the MAC blush in Well Dressed. And it's kind of like a cool tone pink, but it's like sheer and kind of shim shimmery, and it, it looks good with the highlighter. So, I love it. So, back to... I keep forgetting that we're talking about men right now. Um, I always go to the dog park for men. And, like, a lot of my nursing school friends or kind of my clinical group, they have this running joke that I'm always on the hunt for a husband. But it's kind of not a joke because I always am on the hunt for a husband. So, here are my qualifications. Um, at least six foot tall. Because I like to wear heels, and I'm like 5'9", so I could be a little taller than you depending on what heels I wear. But if you're confident in 6 foot, then I will wear heels around you all the time. I do like brunette guys. Blonde guys, I haven't really... I have not dated a blonde guy, I don't think. Brunette, I like. Brown eyes, typically. Um, I like, because... I don't know. I just I just find men with brown eyes a little more sexy. I love... Love, love, and my family makes fun of me for it, but I love guys with big noses. I don't know why I love big noses. It's just so masculine and so manly that mm, I love big noses. Anyways, moving on to the next step in my makeup. I'm going to do um, my eyes now. So I'm going to go in with kind of a neutral shadow just to put all over my lid and make it easy to... My phone is going off like crazy. It's all this Tinder nonsense. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's all this Tinder nonsense that's happening. Um, but I'm going to go in to the color Bear um, in the Smashbox Masterclass 1 palette and just put that all over my brow bone and my lid because this is going to make it easier to blend all of my other shadows. Look at that. I'm going to be using. Okay, so now I put that base all over. I'm going to go into the color Nectar in that same Masterclass 1 palette. And with a big fluffy brush like this. 
and um, I'm going to put this all over my crease. And this is kind of just like a peach tone, just to start giving definition to my crease. So I'm getting all glammed up to go find my over six foot, brown haired, brown eyes, big nose man. I've been really getting into burly men, like men who are kind of like stocky and like beard bearded, like that whole lumber sexual thing. I don't know why, but I'm liking it. And beards feel really good. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, I'm going to be going into another color in Not My Masterclass palette, a, um, Urban Decay Vice palette. I'm going to be using the shade Undone, which is like this new... You're going to see everything, like, everywhere. Hi, everyone! Ho! Oh. Into the color Undone, which is this, like, kind of neutral shade. And I'm going to be doing that just a little more controlled in the crease. Just to give definition. And I always do my crease work before I do um, my lid shades because I don't want my crease to get all muddy and then my whole, I'll have to go back in and it's just stupid. So now that I've done my crease, I don't think I'm going to add any more definition. I might in a little bit. Um, just depending on how it looks. I'm going to go into this gold shade called Last Sin. It's right here in the palette. Um, this is, I'm almost out of this shade. I literally use this every single freaking day. Oh, I didn't mean to flick you off, sorry. But I'm just going to pack that on with my finger. I'm going to go back in with a smaller flat shader brush with that color last in and just pack it on a little bit more and kind of blend at the crease. Now that I have my lid shade on, I'm going to go into this copper shade in the Vice palette called Lucky. And that's that right there. Um, with that same little flat shader brush, I don't really care that it has other eyeshadow on it because it's just going to help me blend. And I'm going to play, place this on the outer like one fourth of my lid. Just for a little extra, <laughs> extra color. I'm just going to go back and just be kind of gentle with my fluffy blending brush just to get any of like the excess metallic like gold or copper that I used off of my crease shade and just to blend my crease up a little bit towards my brow bone. So yeah, that is my eyeshadow. I'm going to do a little bit of a brow bone highlight. Um, sometimes I like to use a white shadow and my friend Danny, again, the one who does tan um, tra Tranny Todd Hot Dish! Tranny Tot Hot Dish with me gave me this Wet n Wild palette because she was like, I never use these colors, and I really don't use these colors either, but this white is sick, and this black is what I use for my liner most of the time. So I'm just going to go into that white and using, like, kind of a flat definer brush. This is kind of a, a concealer brush, too. It can be used for. I don't know. I got it at Target. I'm just going to go into that white color and just go to the very, like, highest point of my eyebrow kind of pat that in and then blend that out. I don't really fill in my eyebrows because they're really thick to begin with and I'm really afraid that I'm going to draw them on unevenly one time and just look like Ursula or like, what's her name from 101 Dalmatians? Cruella DeVille. Now that I have my um, eyebrows highlighted and the rest of my eyeshadow pretty much done, I'm just going to blend one more time. And then I'm going to go in with my, what is this, MAC 208 brush, which is a liner brush. It's a little angled brush. It's really good for liquid line because it's nice and stiff, but I like to use it for my shadow liner. I look crazy. Um, but I'm just going to line my eyes quick with this. I'm going to get real up close and personal.
and I just kind of pat it just pat it right at the lash line so that's with one eye done with my powder Sometimes I do wings, sometimes I don't. I don't really feel like doing wing today. Okay, um, so I've done my liner, just a really simple black shadow with an angled brush, uh, 208 from MAC. And really all I have to do is put mascara on and maybe some lip gloss. So I'm going to do my mascara quick off camera and I will be right back with my lip gloss. Do you see this? Right there. My whole life. Just go like this. Just go like this. Rude. Okay, so my mascara is now on. I was using um, the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express, and I had that little incident right there. I almost didn't get a husband. Just saying. Thank you, Falsies. Rude. Now, I'm pretty much almost done. I'm just going to put a lip something on. This is um, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Tokyo. Yeah, I'm pretty much done. Done getting ready. Um, oh lord. You guys get to see what my hair looks like fresh out of the shower. Well, not fresh out of the shower, but I haven't, like, styled it or anything. <clears throat> so thank you guys for getting ready with me and having this little chit-chat. I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and leave suggestions of future video topics that I should do. Love you guys. Bye.